You might know you can scan documents with an iPhone using the Files and the Notes app. But did you know there are multiple methods you can use to scan documents using these apps? In this guide, I'll show you 5 methods to scan documents with iPhone. There are two methods for scanning documents on iPhone using the Notes app. In the first method, I'll cover the entire process of scanning the document which will be the same for the next 4 methods. So please watch the first method before skipping to any of the next methods. The easiest way to scan documents with the Notes app on iPhone is by using its home screen icon. Long press on the Notes app icon and choose the scan document option. It will open the document scanner, line your document in the viewfinder and wait for the app to scan it. You can also press the camera shutter icon to scan a document manually. If you are unhappy with the scan, tap the retake button and scan the document again. You can adjust the boundary using the drag handles at the four corners. Once you are happy with the selection, tap the keep scan button to save it. If there is more than one page, repeat the process for all the pages. Finally, tap the save button to save the scan document. The scanning feature will merge all the scans into a single PDF file and save it in a new note. If you have created a single PDF file with all documents and want to extract pages from PDF, click the i button or the link in the video description to learn how to do that. The first method is quick but adds the scanned document to a new note. If you already have an existing note where you would like to add the scanned document, you can do that as well. Launch the notes app on your iPhone and open the document where you want to add the scanned document. Bring up the keyboard and tap the attachment button which looks like a paper clip. Tap the scan documents button to open the document scanner. The remaining steps to scan documents are the same as the first method. Once you save the scan, it will add the document to the current note. Similar to how it can be done in the notes app, there are two ways to scan documents on an iPhone using the files app. Long press on the files app icon and tap the scan documents option to open the document scanner. The next steps are the same. Tap the capture button to capture the scan and hit the keep scan button to save it. Repeat the process to add more pages and tap the save button. Navigate to the location where you want to save the scan document then tap the save button in the top right corner to save it there. You can also directly scan a document inside a specific folder in the files app. Launch the files app on your iPhone and navigate to the folder where you want to save the scanned document. Tap the three dot button in the top right corner then select scan documents to open the document scanner. Now, follow the document scanning steps to scan and save the document in the current folder. My favorite way to scan documents is by using a shortcut. I have added the shortcut to my home screen, giving me one tap access to the document scanning feature on my iPhone. To create this shortcut, launch the shortcuts app and tap the plus button in the top right corner. Use the search actions field to find the scan documents action and tap to add it to the shortcut. Tap the i button at the bottom and tap the add to home screen option. On this page, you can rename this shortcut and assign it an icon and a color. I will leave the name as it is, but I will assign it a blue color and use the scanner icon. Tap the add button to save the shortcut to the home screen. Now when you tap the shortcut, it opens the document scanner, allowing you to scan documents and save them directly to the files app. The best part of using the shortcut is that you can run it via a back tap gesture, add it to the control center, or launch it with the action button. You can learn how to do that by watching these videos next or reading our written guides linked in the video description. I'll see you there. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.